This is Dave Sundstrom. Welcome to another video celebrating entertainment from decades gone by. You know, the good stuff. Lately, I've been reading a bunch of interviews that Star Trek creator Gene Roddenberry gave during the 80s. These articles are a ton of fun to read because they were written at a time when Gene was enjoying a Star Trek renaissance. The 80s truly did signify a rebirth for the franchise. After the original television series was canceled in 1969, the decade that followed saw the Star Trek fanbase refuse to die. Reruns of the program along with a new animated series in 1973 and novelizations that were either direct adaptations from the show or inspired by the original series kept everyone's hopes up until Star Trek The Motion Picture was released during the 1979 holiday season. And during the 70s, Roddenberry had plenty of time to reflect on how the show had been treated by its network, NBC. And you know what? After reading a bunch of these interviews with Roddenberry, I think it's fair to say that Gene didn't have any fond feelings for the Peacock Network. No love lost at all. In fact, I think it's fair to say that Gene felt like he had handed NBC this amazing, wonderful gift. And well, they pretty much just took a giant metaphorical space dookie on it. One article in particular, written by James Calloway in 1982 in the Raleigh, North Carolina News and Observer, goes a long way to paint the picture of just exactly how mistreated Gene felt. In that article, the great bird of the galaxy points out that sacrifices had been made to produce Star Trek to the network's liking. In that interview, Gene declared, Every member of our staff was in the hospital at one time or another for nervous exhaustion. There were three divorces out of the five people on my staff. I feel bitter about the time I never spent with my kids. I've made up for it in part, but it's not entirely possible. So Gene and his staff went through all that, and then NBC wanted to cancel Star Trek after the show's second season. Could that cause him to hate the network? Well, I'll let you be the judge. Ultimately, a slight uptick in the ratings and a grassroots letter-writing campaign saved the show and allowed Roddenberry and team to produce a third season. And while fans of Star Trek often point out that the final season isn't just up to the high standards set by the first two, there are still some great episodes there. And thankfully, Gene, at the very least, didn't have to deal with network executives telling him that Mr. Spock needed to be removed from the program. Yeah, they really asked him to do that at the beginning of the first season. He also didn't have to fight battles with the network over issues like wanting to have an ethnically diverse cast. Those battles had been fought, and for the most part, they'd been won. In that same 1982 article, Gene states very clearly that both Desilu and NBC really didn't like Star Trek. And because of that, he and the rest of the creative team carried a bit of a chip on their shoulders. Their motto was, let's show the bastards. Let's prove them wrong. And prove them wrong they did. So much so that Star Trek is forever etched in the tapestry of our culture. And as time has gone on, Further proving Gene's point, the lines between fiction and reality have crossed time and time again. Thankfully, Gene's hopeful and optimistic vision of the future, well, it doesn't seem that far away. So getting back to the original question, did Gene Roddenberry hate NBC? Well, like I said earlier, he certainly didn't love them. But I think in the end, he may have realized that he and the show's creative team may have done their very best work while feeling the constant pressure of the network that controlled the program's fate. However, he felt I'm just grateful that a visionary like Gene Roddenberry was around to make it all happen. Okay, folks, please share your thoughts in the comments section. And while you're at it, I'd love a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video. And you know what? I have another video about Leonard Nimoy that I bet you would enjoy watching. There it is. Go ahead and click on it. I'm done here. But before you go, thank you so much for watching.